Antipodean Adventure. And today we are looking at um, Lagerostrobos, Lagerostrobos Franklini. Yeah, I can hear you all screaming at the screen. It is Huon Pine. So Huon Pine only grows in one place and that is in southwestern Tasmania. Actually, that's a lie because it was transplanted to Scotland, weirdly, as, a, uh, as an ornamental tree. And apparently it does quite well in Scotland. So, Huon Pine, Scotland and Tasmania. Who'd have thunk it? Not me. This is, um, this is a, a, a word that um, was sold to me as a, as a soundboard. Um, it, was, uh, it was one of those words that uh, I took a, very much took a punt on. I was looking for some sound, but I'm, you know me, I'm, I just love wood. Um, and, and so when I was talking to my supplier, I, I said, have you got any soundboards? He said, yeah, I've got some, I've got some Huon Pine and um, uh, tomorrow's wood. And so, you know, I thought, right, I'll get him to send it to me on sale or return. And I have to say, when, when I received it, let me just make sure you can see this. When I, when I received it, I was, I was, I have to be honest, I was slightly underwhelmed. And I thought, you know what, this this is probably this is probably not going to work for old Tommy boy. But you know, I thought, okay, well, at least I've got some sound hole reinforcement patches. At least I've got some uh, wood uh, to show you guys. Some more wood, and it's always you know it's always nice to handle new bits of wood and um, to learn about them. And in learning about it. I've come to be rather enthralled by Huon Pine. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's fascinating. So it only grows in one place, uh, but, well, two places, because it grows in Scotland. It's, um, it's, one of the, it's one of the oldest living species in the world. It doesn't reproduce until it's six to 800 years old. And there are some stands of Huon Pine trees in southwestern Tasmania that are reported to be ten and a half thousand years old and are all ge genetically identical males from from one tree that has, has continuously self-propagated through vegetative propagation where bits of the tree fall off I believe but it should just fragments of a tree kind of land on the ground root and start a new tree kind of like how succulents work I guess I imagine not sure if you know let me know in the comments because uh, I might be completely making that up. Uh, Huon pine, not actually a pine, it is a conifer, but it is uh, very much uh, southern, naturally occurring in the southern hemisphere. So it has a very high uh, natural oil content, methyl eugenol to be precise, which uh, makes it extremely impervious to rot, to insect um, uh, infestation. And it also means that it, it really works and finishes to really fine luster. Um, I've never worked with it before. I'm told it's a woodworker's dream. It's very fine grain. The, uh, the, the annual growth rings are almost imperceptible. I'm told that it only grows, um, the tree only grows by a millimeter in girth every single year, which is a very slow rate of growth indeed. So the growth rings are really hard to, to make out and um, I don't know if you can pick this up on the, on the video here, but we've got some really interesting kind of figure. I can't work out if that's because the board kind of moves off quarter. I don't know, I, wish, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm a little bit baffled. I'm really intrigued to work with this. Will I use it as a soundboard? I don't know, I don't know. It's much more dense than spruce. Um, it's, uh, it's something like 960 pounds force on the Janker scale, so about twice as hard as something like Picea bees, European spruce. Um, but much, it is much more dense, certainly not like something like cedar. Um, so whether it's gonna be ideal for a soundboard, I don't know. In my head, I'm going to be using this as a, some, some kind of, I'm going to experiment with this and, and use it for a, a hybrid back. I think. I'm really into this idea of hybrid back. So this might be a substrate for a hybrid back. So it's got a very like interesting uh, aroma, let's say. Uh, I think that's attributed to the, the high oil content. And I can't quite work out whether I really like it or, or it's, it's kind of, um, uh, it's quite disgusting. Um, it's almost like, a, it's a very floral like perfume. 
It's almost like grandma's perfume mixed with like a drawer that hasn't been opened for a really long time. It's, I don't know, maybe, maybe, who, who knows? Maybe when I, when I plane into this and, and release some fresh oil, uh, I, will, I will magically fall in love with it. I don't know, I'm so curious. I'm, I'm really, uh, from, from going from being really underwhelmed, I'm very like intrigued with who on pine. Let's give it a tap. It's, it's uh, hmm, let's see, how would, I, how would I characterize this? It's maybe like, it's like spruce that's eaten one too many donuts. It's like, it's like overweight spruce. It just feels like it might be a bit slow to get up to answer the door, you know? Who knows what happened when you put some braces on it and give it the love and attention that it deserves. It's almost like, it's almost like the response is there just waiting to be coaxed out. You know, maybe it's just a bit shy. See, can you hear that? There's, there's stuff there. I'm gonna give it a little squirt with magic spray. Usually I don't do this with top words, but I wanna see if I can coax out a little bit more of this grain, like figure. It's almost like a, I don't know. I feel like I'm giving Huron Pine a bit of a, a bit of a slagging off here because it kind of, <laughs> whatever this grain pattern is, it kind of looks like stretch marks. Oh goodness me! I'm being I'm being really mean to Huron Pine, but it's like people love it. People, Australian woodworkers, I read about it all the time, and I'm told it's really great. And it looks cool. I love the color. Hopefully you can see that. I hope you can pick up the the kind of gr the figure the the figure that I'm talking about on this side. Maybe you can see that. I don't know. It reminds me of, um, the kind of the surface and the feel of it reminds me of something like boxwood, um, but nowhere near obviously no, nowhere near as dense. Lagostrobos Franklini. You just watch. I'm going to be eating my words pretty soon. I'll start working with it and, and uh, those magic oils will fill the air and I'll be transported to uh, Tasmania and, and, uh, and fall in love with this word. Just a reminder, as if another one was needed, we are giving away these uh, 21 to one ratio open gear tuners <clears throat> from Waverly in partnership with Stu, Stu Mac. Look at those, aren't they nice? And you can win them. Just subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. And if you're feeling really fruity, you can ring the bell as well. Tomorrow is Sunday and I'm not gonna be here. I got my schedule a little bit off. So I've still got one Australian species left to go. Tomorrow is gonna be, let's just call tomorrow a travel day or a rest day. And we'll, we'll finish off on Monday. I know it's not ideal, but that's just what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna finish off on Monday and then we're gonna get into, um, we're gonna get into some other stuff. There's more stuff. And I'm, I'm so like, my, 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 I'm getting, my, my credit card is, uh, is heating up. And um, there's, I've just found a bunch more wood that I wanna buy to bring in to share with you. And um, it's probably not best business practice to, to, to just spend ridiculous amounts of money on wood um, just to, to, to produce content for YouTube, but I'm really into it and I really hope that you guys uh, are enjoying it as much as I am. Um, I just will just have to not look at my credit card statement for a long time. See you on Monday.